thinking about what contemplative practice is and what it might be, why, how, why it might be useful in our daily life, uh, actually is a very interesting question. You think of someone like Young, he wrote an uh, article called Heroes of a Thousand Faces, and he talked about the hero actually going away and getting some wisdom and then bringing it back to society. In some ways, that's to me the sort of contemplative practice. I think where we are today is that people don't necessarily go away. Uh, most of us don't go live in a cave or re withdraw from society for months or years on end. Uh, but even when people did, there was an understanding that in doing that, it wasn't just personal salvation. It was like trying to understand something and bringing it back to society. So now we are actually have a much closer connection between daily life, but then taking a moment, whether it's 20 minutes in the morning or uh, a retreat, to sort of stop and think about what's this all about. If you think about the idea of um, holidays, not vacations, holidays, because vacation comes from the term vacate or make, or one could say be made empty. Well, now we think of that just to go have fun, but holiday is to celebrate. Uh, it's to sort of reclaim the holiness to everything. Uh, so we take holidays to actually remember and reclaim. Again, we don't use holidays that way anymore. We mean to go out and spend money. Uh, but all of that's really organized around the need for having different temples in life. And sometimes those temples could be assigned to the monk or the priest, uh, or sometimes we can actually integrate them into our own life. Uh, so I think all of us need that in order for students, in order for parents, in order for workers to actually uh, make meaning of their lives, to live their life fully. There has to be some place to sort of slow down, reflect, breathe, see what's happening with our bodies, see what's happening in our communities. Um, but if we just do that and then don't integrate it back into our life, I think we're missing the heart of contemplative practice, which was always about what its relationship is to the larger society. So I think that's what we're trying to do now, um, sort of, in a sense, uh, heal that bridge between the contemplative life that's totally removed and the everyday life that's uh, very busy. Um, and if we heal that well, then what we contemplate on, as well as the healing itself, support each other. Mm -hmm.